Okay, so the, the question is, how do you keep and demonstrate energy, keep the energy going, but also demonstrate the energy when you're speaking consistently over time and maintain that enthusiasm, perhaps the passion, that you show passion, enthusiasm in your body language as well as your voice, not just voice, your body needs to be involved too. Now, how do you do that? First of all, personality is important too. We underestimate the power of personality. Now, we know there are many different types of personalities and, and some are introverted and some are extroverted personalities. So the extroverted find it easy and they actually thrive in their expression and die without expression. Literally, lockdown would have killed these people. Like They have to be out there expressing themselves. They have to be out there with people. And then the introverts tend to go, oh, you know what, that takes so much out of me to do that. That's not like me. And rather be quiet and more reserved or maybe, you know, kind of away from the crowds, away from the visibility and the cameras, the public speaking. However, if your job requires you to do it, then you have to learn the skills of it. So you copy it. You basically copy it. So those who can do it naturally struggle less with it and it costs them less energy. It actually costs them more energy to be quiet and to be pressed down. So when we have staff that who are bubbly and we're telling them to be quiet, I mean, of course you need to adjust that the behavior and how it turns out at work, then they don't overcome and take over people. But those that are bubbly and have to be quiet will suffer, will cost them more energy. So, but how do you do this? So if you're an introvert and you need to be more expressive, and that is voice tone fluctuations up and down with the warm-ups, breath control, how do you do it? Well, for me, my experience is that you need to be committed to what it is that you say. You have to find deep meaning for it. Even for me as an extrovert, well, I'm actually both. I can do extrovert and I can do introvert. For me to keep going is to find deep meaning in what I do. So even though I repeat myself so many times, every person's different. So I say, well, this is a new person. Whatever it is that you need to say to yourself to keep the meaning active, to keep the meaning like the fire burning, the meaning and the purpose of what you do, the calling of what you do fuels the energy for me. Now, everybody's different. I just believe that if you are aligned congruently means or fully aligned to you mean what you say and you say what you mean, then the energy could come out easier. But no doubt, you still need to modulate your voice and that requires technique because it's like a muscle. You still need to sleep well because if you don't sleep, your voice becomes very husky and everything dies and it's extra harder. So sleep is important. Health, right? So what do I mean by that is exercise changes the way you speak. Activity. For me, you know, taking vitamins and making sure I'm staying well and I'm not getting run down with flus and colds, mucus. So a lot of fresh food during the day, that's important. Fresh food, um, vitamins for me, making sure my adrenal glands are healthy. I don't just stimulate myself just with coffee. I mean, I do have some coffee, but I think you can artificially stimulate yourself and then you're going to crash. Yeah, And having breaks and doing things for yourself is very important. Something that gives you a sense of, I do this for myself. I do this because that might mean going for a walk or an activity or a hobby. Having something for yourself is very important. But mostly it's about having a healthy body technique to keep your voice healthy with the straw exercise, good sleep, and Deciding, if I'm an introvert, I know this is going to take more energy, so I need to be committed to the meaning of what I do. I need to know that this will make a difference to somebody. I'm happy to get feedback. I want to keep improving myself. I don't have to have all the right answers because I'm going to keep improving. I've got nothing to hide. I don't want to be perfect. I'm just here to keep improving and making sure that I get feedback and there's no failure. There's only feedback. And if you're an extrovert, you have to also make sure you're not overdoing it. 
you know, taking over other people, speaking too much, you know, and perhaps being more concise and getting feedback about how you're doing that also. And nobody's perfect out there in communication. A perfect communication or a great communication is always based on the response you get. So you can measure your feedback on how people respond back to you. So if they say that was great, that was great. If they ask you to repeat again, repeat again, obviously they're not getting it. If they're not coming back because they're falling asleep, then you might be boring, you see? If you're overpowering and you're being too bossy with your voice tone, then you're going to push people away and minimize them. You're going to make them small. We're not here to make people small. We're, make, we're here to empower others yeah, and share just our part. But I hope that's answered it. So how do I maintain energy? All of what I've just said. <laughs>